Hello, I'm Milt Johns, Chairman at Large of the Prince William County School Board. On behalf of the entire board, I'm excited to welcome you to what promises to be a great school year. I'm at Ronald Wilson Reagan Middle School. Named for our 40th president, this world-class facility is one of the two new schools we opened in the school division just this year. Many more have been expanded, renovated, and refurbished. It's all about making them safe, inviting, and productive places where our students can learn, grow, and grow to love learning. This has to be a team effort. The teachers, administrators, and all the others who comprise our 10,000 plus employees are dedicated to providing the best to our students. Many parents are already involved in their schools and in their students' educations, but we need even more to learn about the schools and to take the time to get involved, volunteer, and make a difference. There will naturally be challenges this year, from budgets to testing and rising higher expectations. But together, we can tackle them and make sure that every PWCS program is rigorous, relevant, and engaging, and that every student is really engaged. After all, our schools are all about our students. I want to talk for a moment to every student in every classroom. Right now, you have the power to start fresh. You can make this a great new year filled with learning, discovery, and fun. Now, let me turn things over to someone who is working every day to turn our high hopes into reality. Thanks, Mr. Johns. Hi, I'm Steve Wald, Superintendent of Schools. I'm at Potomac High School, where there was a lot of construction going on in the weeks leading up to the opening. This science room was one of the few without workers, though you might hear them. You see, Potomac is one of many schools undergoing extensive renovation to improve facilities and help to accommodate the exploding student growth here in Prince William County. When I came here seven years ago, we had a little more than 68,000 students enrolled. This year, we have nearly 83,000 in 93 schools. Just to give you an idea, that means we have to run 825 buses and will serve more than 14,000 breakfasts and 53,000 lunches each school day. Most importantly, we provide classes and specialty programs that give every student the opportunity for high achievement and future success in a global economy. We consider it vital to put every student on the path right from the start to graduate fully prepared and on time. So this year we are offering a new online resource called Graduation Pathways to Success, or GPS. And like a GPS, it provides information to make sure that every student and their parents from kindergarten on up know all the turns and milestones essential to reach their destinations. You can find it on the pwcs.edu website. Also this year, we changed our regulations to give principals the discretion to occasionally permit the use of smartphones, tablets, and other student-owned electronic devices in our schools and classrooms. But it is important to understand that the bring your own device effort will be phased in slowly and only in keeping with specific rules established for each school. When in doubt, student-owned devices should remain off. As always, the core expectations and rules for every student are found in the Code of Behavior. We are saving a lot of taxpayer money by not sending printed copies home this year. But you can find it on the website, download it for your use on personal devices, or request a printed copy at any school. Understanding and abiding by the code is important for parents and students alike. It allows all of our schools to focus on their primary role of teaching and learning. I thank all of our employees who worked so hard over the summer to get schools ready for opening. They've done an outstanding job. Now our great teachers, administrators, and support staff will get down to the business of providing a world-class education. As Mr. John said, you play a tremendous role in partnering with us to maximize your child's educational success. Welcome back. Let us all work together to make our classrooms the gateway to a bright future for our students and for our community.